Hello beautiful souls and welcome to my channel. My name is Erica and this is Gypsy Cowgirl Tarot. I'm a psychic, medium, oracle, and prophetess, you guys. So welcome, welcome. You guys have seen the title of this video, so you know why you're here. Um, I don't know what the cards are going to say or what the reading is going to entail, but per usual, um, if this is your first time here, um, I do these messages basically daily for the collective and I always share what I feel walking away what I feel um before the reading begins okay this card wanted to pop out because this is the energy right now okay divine masculines um for the collective that's going to be drawn to this and that's going to see this okay a lot of you guys your divine masculines are in um karmic connections okay uh karmic love connections um that they at one point felt like maybe oh this could be it right um blossoming abundance um, but now they are, it's like true colors are being shown. They're seeing everything for what it is um, and they aren't feeling happy. And so they're in this, this energy of walking away. Um, but I kept hearing, um, like even while I was shuffling, flying the coop, flying the coop. So for me, that is the DM, right? They are flying the coop. They are, it's like whatever, like, their home life is or their their like family dynamics or even for some of them you know maybe your person is in a marriage or it's like an ended um, an, a marriage that is ending um that is not uncommon in twin flame connections you know having one or both twins in a in a karmic marriage or you know whatever um but these unions that have you know been karmic unions for the for the divine masculine they are crumbling right right before their eyes there is just crumbling um it's excuse my french going to shit going to shit in a hand basket <laughs> let's just say that um so uh you know so it's very much an energy of where you know the dms are trying not to also you know, they're trying to like keep a grip on their life right now. They're trying to not entirely like lose their shit is what I want to say. Um, because they feel like they feel like they've overcome a lot, but they feel like they've also gotten, you know, in, 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 in situations where they're like, how am I in this kind of situation again? How am I, you know, now in a situation again, where I need to, again, walk away for my happiness and for my highest good and for my, my sanity and my growth and my life and my children and, and anything else. Right. Um, so they're walking away. They're walking away. Um, this Oracle deck is called, um, energy Oracle. All right. So, whoa. Okay. We'll take you happy family. Look at, this is what they're walking away from you guys. Can't make it up. Right. They're walking away from family dynamics, you know, you know, for a lot of you guys, right? They maybe have a family with this person. Maybe they've had children with, with, with this, um, with their karmic, uh, whatever it is, but this is what they're walking away from. They're walking away from relationships. Um, you know, there's children, there could be children involved, right? Um, for many of you guys, there is, there's children involved. Um, and then on the bottom of the deck, we have the woman holding the coin. And this for me is, you know, she's like the queen of pentacles energy. Okay. Um, so if it was like traditional tarot, it would be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But this is again, what they're walking away from. They're walking away from, um, commitments, you know, long-term commitments. They're walking away from basically it's like, they're taking back the offer. See, she looks kind of pissed. Like she doesn't want to give her pentacle away or give it back. Let's say that. Um, and it's very much the energy where the, the masculine is like, okay, I'm going to take this pentacle back because I no longer want to have a commitment. I no longer want this offer. I no longer want you to have this offer. All right. You know, um, I am feeling, um, it's like hostility. I'm feeling hostility around her, around her energy here. Um, so, you know, there could be, you know, arguments, fighting, hostilities between her and the divine masculine or, or between them. Okay. Let's just say that. Um, yeah. 
my masculines are, are walking, are, they're wor working on walking away today. What up, spirit? Tell me about walking away. Journey. They could be planning a vacation. Um, they could be getting ready to go on a journey. Walking away, clarifying uh, walking away is anxiety. Look at that. Riddled with fear, anxious. What am I going to do? You know, a lot of these karmic energies, they could be financially dependent on the masculine or the masculine might help them a lot with finances and and when and with the masculine walking away it's causing a lot of anxiety and fear this is nine of swords eight of swords the journey you know they're walking away and they're they're starting they're they're wanting a new beginning they're wanting a new journey now look at this you guys if you watch my channel, you know, I, I go, I'm really big on, on numerologies and colors and, and all of it. Right. But 27. Okay. This could be an age. Maybe it's your age, your person's age is a nine breaks equals nine. Right. And then you add two these together, walking away and, and beginning a new journey. Um, it equals 11, which is new beginnings. It's the number of twin flames. Um, and then as I'm saying all that, on the bottom of the deck, we have the man holding the coin. Okay, here's the divine masculine showing up. So now we have the counterparts, but this was karmic, right? Um, that's why she's all painted up and and in like makeup and 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 she's all dressed up. You know, she looks beautiful, right? But for me, it's very pretentious, false. Um, it's very much even Queen of Wands like energy. And he's not like that. He's look at him. He's down to earth. His hair's down. His shirt's, you know, open. He's, you know, he's real. He's dressed in comfortable clothes. He's laying on the ground, like connected to earth, earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn here. But your person is looking all relaxed and and you know intrigued even and and ready because they have taken back the coin see they're now in possession of their coin sixth chakra the third eye they are in alignment with their higher self their their third eye psychic abilities are kicking in high gear let's just say that you guys they're seeing the future of you guys very clearly that's why they took back their coin that's why they're walking away that's why they're ready to start this journey they could be taking a journey to you okay in order to make this offer okay um this over here you guys very clear this is what's being left behind okay um you know this happy family card maybe at one point right um these two were happy okay and that's why they started the family dynamic or the relationship or the whatever 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 right but this is no longer a happy dynamic it's no longer a happy situation okay that's why the divine masculine is walking away so i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to just move these cards over here out of the reading all right and then we have the cornucopia. Look at that right after the divine masculine seeing things very clearly right now. They're seeing their future clearly. And when they look out to the future, they definitely do not see themselves, you know, 20, 30, 40 years from now with the karmic energy. Okay. So walking away, looking ahead, seeing clearly. Um, having extreme clarity as well, right? About an, an enlightenment about their future with you. They're, that's what they're manifesting. They're manifest. <laughs> told you, told you. We got four, four showing up in the reading. Um, actually, we have four, four, four showing up. All right. The angels are here. Archangel Metatron. Archangel Metatron is the Archangel of Ascension. He's the Archangel of all of this, right? Like our journeys that we go on. Um, 
your, you know, psychic connections, your telepathic messages, all of that, you know, um, call Archangel Michael in and ask for his energy and assistance, you know, when you're communicating with your twin or your soulmate. Um, anyways, look at what it is, you guys. I just talked about how this number and this number together, these cards equal 11. And then boom, look what comes out, 11. And it's, it's a blessing. It's a cornucopia. It is you, everything you want coming to fruition. That's what this is. It's also a really generous energy for me. So what this feels like is um, the Divine Masculine obviously coming in and, and with a very generous love offer um, and, and offer of commitment and all that. But... They want to share their wealth with you. For some of you, right, watching your person is very wealthy. We call it big dick energy, right? It's like they're they're an entrepreneur of you know successful entrepreneur. Um, they are someone who's just very headstrong, business savvy, successful. They've got money, um, CEO, boss, leader, whatever it is, right? Um, they could you know be in charge. They could have like a crew that they run. Um, that kind of stuff, you guys, but they've, they want to share all of their abundance with you. They want to share the wealth with you. They want new beginnings here. This is a cornucopia of blessings coming in. All right, spirit, what else? 1144 on the timestamp, right? When I look up, Ooh, another angel blessing this reading. We have Archangel Shamuel. Okay. 37. This could be your age. It's my age. <laughs> um, it breaks down to a 10. which is essentially is a one, right? So there's endings that are bringing forth a beginning between you and your person. Your person, this is the solar plexus, okay? The third chakra, we have the six and third chakra showing up. Three and six, what is that guys? Nine, that's about what? Wish fulfillments, right? Cornucopia of blessings. There is a storm warning, we have 10 and 10 showing up here. This storm is hitting the divine masculine's life. There's a massive helicopter flying over right now, you guys. Wow. I don't know if you guys can hear it. Did I not just talk about um, like the journey and travel? And now we have this huge helicopter, which is super random for where I live, um, flying over. And helicopters are what? They're, they're a form of, of, of travel, right? you guys yeah it's definitely something about flying airplane you know they have to fly to see you or vice versa but this is your person they're having activate you know major activations with their third eye um you could be too and your solar plexus but they're standing strong in their power right now they're listening to their intuition you guys about everything in their life right now and that's what the storm warning is about. They took back that off, you know, they took back their pentacle. They're taking back their coin from the, from the karmic so that they can give it away to you. And this is what it is. It's, it's a storm that is about to hit land. And when it hits land, it's like the tower. It, it blows things apart, right? You know what, you guys, I totally shuffled and forgot to pull the woman holding the heart. And my higher self, just the spirit was like, um, hello, here it is. I'm going to pull it out and look at, lo and behold, look what it's right next to. Look at everything's for a reason, you guys. It's literally, it was right in front of the yin and yang. There we go. The perfect match, right? Balance. This is mirroring one another. You guys are, are just about there. So they are coming in to offer you their pentacle, but also their heart. Look at that big, beautiful heart. You know, we have Valentine's Day coming. And this for me is very Valentine's-y, okay? Um, this card 22 is master number, right? It's 
actually Archangel Metatron's number, 1111, 22. Those are master numbers of Archangel uh, Metatron as well. So it's very beautiful, all this energy, you guys, which two and two is four, Archangel Metatron's card number, um, plus 22 plus 22 is what? 44. Really beautiful synchronicities here, you guys. And then look at this. We have the man holding the coin. These are completely different like suits, right? The coins and the hearts. Um, but look, 43 and 44. You guys go together right next to each other. You know, um, the should be counterpart of the of this is right there, right? 42, 43, 44. Isn't that funny? He's caught in between the karmic and the one he loves. Stuck in the middle, right? Wrong, not anymore. See, he's walking away. The divine masculine is walking away because they want, they see the future with you, okay? They see the future with you and when they think of having you and, and being with you, they feel so strong and powerful. They're, I mean, it's crazy, you guys. It's crazy how much they feel for you. And that's why the storm is coming. It cannot be, it cannot be ignored. It cannot be, you can't do anything. It's coming, right? Yin and yang, you guys come back together. This is union. But this is things balancing. This is also the your divine masculine, you know, because we all embody the divine masculine, divine feminine energies, right? We all do. And, but, you know, when we're out of balance, low frequency even, right? Like the masculine was too much in their, in their yang energy, their masculinity. They needed to get more um, into that yin energy, that flow, the feminine energy. And that's what they're beginning to do. Very beautiful. All right. So let's do some tarot. Let's do sexual magic tarot. All right, spirit, tell me about the storm and walking away. Let's clarify this. Tell me about the storm warning and walking away. And it's funny too, the storm is 10. It's it's completion of a cycle, you know, a cycle that has ended and a new beginning. This ending brings forth a new beginning. All right, tell me a storm warning and walking away today for the divine masculine. Give me one more. One more, please. No. All right. <laughs> I kept acting up. Look at that. Four of swords. Four of swords clarifying these energies, you guys. Wow. I'm hearing, I don't care what you have to say. I don't care what you have to say. Four of swords is like typical. It's like some, you know, a man laying down in rest in a resting position or even he could you know some it looks like you know they've 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 transitioned over to you know the spirit realm or whatever but it's like the three swords are on the wall so it's like this the stage between the three of swords and the then you have the other sword the ace of swords so creating these endings they've they've create they're creating this there's already distance and pain and heartbreak between um them and the karmic so the divine masculines, you know, the storm is already roaring. So the divine masculines are now creating um, endings by walking away. And then look, see, the, the sword of truth is right here. Right here. That's that ace of swords. Creating that three of swords in order to have a new beginning. There is... Um, separation between the divine masculine um and the karmic energies right now um we have the hangman here see with this it's like this is what the divine masculine is doing they are freeing themselves of attachment they are freeing themselves of the attachment that they have been in okay so that they are single because they want to be single to pursue 
to pursue and to, to make this offer, right? Six of Wands. Victory. Success. Passion, right? A lot of passion. It's like all eyes on you. All eyes on you. The, the DMs are seeing here. Your energy with the Divine Masculine right now is very, very, very strong. It's intriguing. The magnetism that they feel to you is, is it's, it's very much out of this world, you guys. Um, it's not like anything they've ever felt before. And they, and they truly can't, you know, they're starting to understand what these connections are for them, but they truly just don't understand what it is. I mean, they know, you know, you're either very handsome and beautiful and charismatic and, and powerful and strong. And, you know, you're very much the empress, but they're just like, this is insanity. Like I've never felt this way about anyone. Um, and they long to touch you to feel you to be around you um and i'm telling you that's why we have journey your divine masculine is about to embark on a new journey right into your arms right to your door um they're coming to you to have a victory freeing themselves of attachment And spirit, tell me about the man holding the coin. Tell me of the man holding the coin. The wheel of fortune. See, this is keeps coming out, you guys. The wheel is turning in your favor. Look at you, man or woman. It doesn't matter, you guys. It's just the energy. You're, you know, you look good. You know, you're doing amazing. You're, you know, um, you're getting a lot of attention. Your frequency is very high. You have been doing a lot of work on yourself um, and your life and people are noticing, but some people are a little jealous, right? You see over here, this Miss Scowly Scowlerson, the hater. So this keeps coming out and um, it's because it's relevant, you guys. Oh yeah, it's totally relevant. Look at the, <laughs> we literally have 10, 10, 10. Um, yeah, I would say that there's a massive storm brewing in the divine masculine's lives right now. There's endings on endings on endings. We see the karmic here is sad because her sex magic no longer works on the divine masculine. The divine masculine is now fantasizing um, all about you and the karmics know it. The DMs have ended it or are ending it with the karmics. Even if they're still with the karmic energetically, it's over. It's like, it's done. Um, and what I'm hearing is we both know it. I'm just doing something about it. And that's exactly what the energy is between them. So the karmics are sad. Look at them. Because they, they, they have to, they're being forced to be uncomfortable now again they're being forced to grow and heal um this is for their highest and greatest good you know but but this is what's happening so and it literally came out like with, with the wheel of fortune which is 10 in the major arcana 10 10 this is done and that's why look at even she has the same color hair same person uh, karmic energy is watching you. They see that you're getting a lot of attention. They see that the divine masculine, their their energy and attention is 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 on you as well. Um, they watch you online as well. Um, all of that, you guys. So I think that confirms everything that I said, right? The divine masculine from the get walking away from the karmics walking away from family dynamics you know i'm hearing let's play house that's what the divine masculine feels like they've been doing playing house with a karmic it's not real for the for the divine masculine see what's real for them is you that's why you have their heart you see you have my heart, please don't break it. You have my love, will you take it? 
Roses are red, violets are blue. I feel the Ace of Cups for you, or I'm sorry, the Ace of Chalices. Look at that. Do you see how softly and beautifully they're making love? He comes in with this huge cup, this huge offer right here. And just pours into you. And in that moment, the Divine Masculine feels like all of their dreams have come true. A new journey begins. The Hierophant. Again, we see that the Divine Masculine energies are not interested in what's in front of them any longer. Um, who they're with, who they're around, who they're dating. Um, they don't want these connections anymore. They're not happy. Um, and you know, the Hierophant is Taurus energy. So you could be dealing with a Taurus, um, you know, but they, they are no longer interested. And again, we see that this karmic with the reddish hair, now your person doesn't have to have, or their, you know, the karmic doesn't have to have red hair. You guys, it does not matter. It's just the energy, but on these cards, she's coming out as the same person here. We, we see she's right here in front of the masculine. We see her here. And then we see her here after, after the ending, after the breakup, after the 10 of swords. So um, anyway, so the wheel is turning and then we have the one, we have 10, 10, tens, and then one. So there's the new beginning, my loves. All right. So show me how is the divine masculine feeling towards their feminine today? Oh, Knave of pentacles. Look at that. They're feeling timid. They um, want to communicate. They want to send you a text is what I'm getting. Yeah, see. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys. Ten of pentacles with the page of pentacles. Bottom of the deck. This is what they desire. Okay. But they're timid because they know that you know that they've been in um, connections with people and relationships and family dynamics and things of that nature. So they're, they're timid, you know, they want to send you this text. They want to talk more, but, um, they're, you know, cause they're super, they're holding on to their coin and this has been a slow burn for them, but, um, but they're, but they're scared because again, they know that, you know, it's like that. And eight of swords is right after that. See, they're in their head about, about that because of what they have been connected to. Um, but they're coming in as the fool taking a leap of faith, right? Um, they feel foolish as well. So let's get the tea, you guys. Spirit, tell me about the Wheel of Fortune and the Four of Swords. Give me the tea on the Wheel of Fortune and the Four of Swords. All right, guys, moving. Look at that. Literally, you guys, for, uh, uh, or the, the wheel of fortune is movement forward. It's moving forward, moving, but literally they could be living together. Someone might be moving. Someone might have to move out. Okay. This is clarifying the wheel of fortune. So we see that there is a shift. There's an ending. So if they're living together, the karmic has to move out or the, maybe the divine masculine is, you know what I mean? But it's whoever's the one that has to go, they have to go because it's over. Whoa. Creativity muncher, someone who steals your ideas, copies your work, duplicates and feeds off of you. Ooh, yeah, honeys. The, that's the karmic energies right here, right? See, they're watching you and they, they really are trying to like imitate or copy or steal, you know, your, your, you know, if you're, let's say you're really into something. Okay. Um, woodworking, let's say woodworking. And let's say you, you know, um, have a public page and you post a lot of beautiful woodworking stuff. The karmic energies are all of a sudden on their pages or talking to the divine masculines or people around them about woodworking or they'll post something about woodworking or it's that kind of energy where they're a creativity muncher okay but 
but the divine masculine sees right through it. See, fake flex in. It says, someone who acts rich, flosses money, acts fancy, shows off. What this is, is this is someone who just tries to act like something they're not. That's what this is. They try to carry on a facade. They try to put on a persona of, oh, like I'm this way, but they're not. It's fake flexing. That's perfect going right along. And see, exactly. And it's because they're creeping. That is a feminine energy's eye. Now, your car person's karmic doesn't have to be a feminine, but I'm just saying for a lot of you guys watching this, it is. And they're watching you. They're creeping. They're watching you and they're trying to, you know, essentially act like you, um, but no one's buying it. No one's buying it. Especially not the divine masculine, as we can see. All right. Told you guys, look at this. They're spying on social media. Blocked. Um, you could, you may have blocked your DM or, or even maybe karmic energies. Um, and they are probably, you know, they're finding other ways to watch you, even though they've been blocked. Um, here we go. Acting cold. There it is. Look at that. The divine masculine is acting cold towards, towards their karmic. See, he's gone cold. He's, he looks emotionless. He looks like he doesn't give a rat's ass about anything except whatever is in you know for look he's looking forward he's looking out to the future um and remember we had archangel metatron the third eye and i talked all about that future vision and and seeing things clearly and that's this so they're acting cold towards the towards the karmics and um, also the divine masculines are looking you up but also so is the karmic energies researching you, studying you, getting info, told you. Boss daddy, this is big dick energy. This is someone exactly like what I was talking about. Someone stable, rich, a business owner, a CEO, literally says big dick energy. You've turned someone who carries this kind of energy, it doesn't matter what they do for a living, they could own a construction business. But, you know, um, they they've got money they've got their shit together they have a lot on the line when it comes to you know if let's say they were to marry someone um they have a lot on the line with that so they don't invest easily but they've been in their karmic energy as well so they've been making dumbass decisions and now they've realized it all you've turned a boss daddy into your groupie like they watch you, they adore you, they want to be around you. Also, there's a lot of other people who are like getting, like they just feel that way towards you guys or toward, towards you. Anyways, your person also feels like the karmic energies is like a groupie energy. It's like someone that just like is clinging to them because of what, who they are and what they have. That's exactly what it is. The karmic energies for a lot of you guys is like, um, they aren't financially stable on their own or whatever. And that, like I said earlier, they might be depending on the DMs um, for, you know, they may have even like moved in temporarily with the divine masculines for some, you know, the DM may have said like, just, you know, move in until you find a place or something like that is I'm, I'm getting that for some of you guys. Um, but anyways, the DM is like now like, you're a grown person. You're not my responsibility. I want to go be happy. I want to live my best life with my person. I am fed up with you. I am fed up with you. All I want is my queen. And they've been watching you rise. They've been watching you rise. Man or woman, it doesn't matter. You've been stepping into your power. You're being praised. You're coming up in life and you're in the spotlight. Very much that six of wands energy. And the karmic energy sees this and intuitively, right? Because the karmics are intuitive as well. Um, they're trying to block it. They're trying to cock block. <laughs> they're trying to block your guys' connection by holding on to the divine masculine. But it's not going to work. The divine masculines are walking away. There's a storm of brewing, you guys, because the DMs have been extra, extra, extra triggered. These flames are hot. They are hot. They are done 
giving their money to the karmics. They're done with all that. Um, and then look at this impersonator right after that. See, wants to be you, acts like you, tries to dress like you, tries to look like you, copies you. I, that's exactly what I talked about, you guys. That's exactly what I was talking about. These karmic energies. All right. This is going to be a lengthier reading. It's okay. All right, spirit. So show me today. Let's get a couple of the tea leaf oracles. I have a few new tarot decks coming today, you guys. I'm really happy. The skull, hidden secrets that can harm you. For some of you guys, the karmic energies could be trying to... Um, essentially like hold secrets over the divine masculine's head for some of them um and they could be secrets that could harm them in a custody case over children or maybe in their you know divorce uh you know battle or whatever or or, or things of that nature or maybe it will um cause harm to to your guys's connection in some way but it feels like that it feels like they're trying to like like hold things over the dm's head even right and then the bull don't do not back down from opposition show strength and fortitude yeah see the d the dms are having to get in a bull energy they're trying to take the life by the horns a bull by the horns um and that's what this is it's like they're facing some kind of opposition from the karmics and they're not backing down from it what's this the jug, lighthearted, carefree time. Mm. This is what the DMs want. This is what, you know, when, when you guys were together or you guys spent time together, um, it, this is how it was in the past. Lighthearted, carefree time. You know, because for most of you guys watching this, you know, if it's a twin flame, like you guys haven't really been together. Like it wasn't like you guys were in union for a long time or in some kind of committed relationship. It, it never really had a chance to lift off the ground. And it's like that common twin flame honeymoon phase where it was like, you know, maybe, you know, four or five months, you know, tops or something like that, right? Um, before you guys went into separation. Cat, a two-faced friend. Ooh, see, look at that. Literally two-faced impersonator. See, this is someone even that might be a friend of yours that's you can't trust that's a karmic around you right now but also um the the dm is just they're seeing people around them for what they are because they're going through awakening right and they're seeing the karmic is two-faced energy they're seeing friends even are two-faced or family members the leg stepping into a new experience literally you guys can't make it up where's the journey card Stepping into a new experience. We have so much endings here and then beginnings, right? It's a new journey. You guys are about to step into a new experience. And then the yoke, feeling tied down or frustrated. This is what the DMs are feeling. This is what they have been, been experiencing. This is also what they're walking away from. The throne, a position of authority. They are taking control and they are realizing now that they are the one in charge of their life. They are sitting in their throne once more as the emperor, as the king. The bull, plenty of material things. See, they are plenty wealthy. They are boss daddy energy. Um, they have plenty of stuff. So do you though. That's the thing. For a lot of you guys, you're, you're self-made. You're, you know, you're all that stuff. So um, you're an equal in their eyes. You're on their level. They respect you. See, you're their mirrored reflection. They feel like you're their other half. Give each other some space at the moment. Trust and have faith that all will work out for the best. Yeah. The space between you guys is, is killing you, but it's coming into, you know, fruition, union. Deep in your heart, you already know the answer. Do what feels right. See, they already know. And so do you, Divine Feminines. For those of you guys, right? Um, your twin flame, you know, you know. 
the union. You could feel it coming. You could feel it happening. A lot of you guys in these um, deep soul connections as well, you can too. Look at, see? You can't make this stuff up, right? A new beginning. I just said you can feel it coming. You know it. Union is happening. See? You're receiving a lot of signs from spirit. A new adventure awaits. The journey. I said a, a new adventure. A new adventure awaits. Embrace it and live your dreams passionately. That is what the divine masculine is doing. You see, they're walking away from the from the from the impersonator. You know, for a lot of you guys, they tried to replace you. They tried to find you and someone else. And it blew up. It says, don't make decisions based on guilt or what you think you should do. For it's only in being true to yourself that you can be true to others. See, the divine masculines have been hanging on, you know, in these connections for far too long because of guilt. Because for a lot of you guys, yeah, they, they created a home with this person. And they had a family with this person. Or, or that kind of dynamic right? It was very much, what will our friends think? What will my family think? What will, you know, everyone's going to talk. It's like, we're, you know, another failed relationship, blah, 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 blah. The kids are going to go through another breakup, blah, 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 blah. It's all that. So they were hanging on for the wrong reasons out of guilt, but no longer, they're not hanging on for that anymore. All right. So let's see what comes out from the Divine Masculines today for the Divine Feminines. Twin Flame Reunion is happening in the 3D. Told you. Look at that, guys. Right away. Your twin is coming in. This is a new beginning in your journey. It's also card number two. We're in the, the portal of 222. We're in the year of 222. Judgment, resurrection, coming alive, waking up. That is your person. They're making judgment calls. They have come alive. They have aligned with their higher self. Twin flame reunion is happening in the 3D. Sagittarius energy. All right. Um, Sagittarius energy. You know, that's what uh, November, December. Um, that could be around the time that you guys met or maybe you guys fell apart or maybe that was the last time you spoke with your person. Um, whatever it is, there's something about that timing. And obviously, let's state the obvious, maybe you are a Sag or your person. This is extreme fire and passion though as well. One more please, Spirit. One more. And then we're going to over to my other message deck. DM will text or message soon. So your divine masculine is going to text you or you'll receive a direct message from them very soon. And that brings you guys into union. Let's get one more. I've never met someone so strong. You inspired me and terrified me all at once. See, I told you guys. Your strength, your, you know. Who you are, you know. Um, you're very loving and beautiful and, you know, all these things. But you're also strong and fierce. And that's what they desire about you, you know, um, because they're the same way, right? Look at that. You don't want me, trust me. See, this is exactly what they were telling themselves this whole time. They were telling themselves that to protect themselves. I'm not good for them. I'm just going to mess it up. I don't want to hurt them. You know, they were protecting you. I am getting the courage to share how I feel. See? I'm hearing this song, um, Running by No Doubt. Run, running all the sun. 
run into my future with you right by my side be be the one i need be the one i love most don't stop inspiring me so she it's all this whole thing but the song is called running and that's what this has been your person has been the runner in the twin flame connection or the runner in the soulmate dynamic right and it's like they have finally seen the light and they see you and now they're ready someone has been emotionally unstable and manipulative yeah see they know that they were not stable enough for this connection at that time so they were like you don't want me trust me you know i'm doing you a favor so then there was this twin flame separation because of all that <laughs> see guys i don't need the cards but i hope you'll take me back and now you guys come back together twin flame reunion happening in the 3d after a long time of separation and now they come in and this is what they say i'm here i'm ready will you take me back i hope you do i want you to know that i've walked away from from the person that i was with i walked away from that addiction that i i was battling with i walked away from you know all of the stuff that i was connected to i walked away from that you know, job that I hated. And now I found one that I love and now I love myself and I'm ready, you know, but mostly it's, I walked away from that person. They took back the coin. I know I keep going for low vibe people. I told you guys, they know that they have kept going for low vibe people. They tried finding you and someone else. We couldn't replace you because you are you have their heart. You're their queen of hearts. You will hear from your person very soon. Let's get one more, please, spirit. So much has been hidden. And that's what they want to explain. Karmic X wants you back. Um, it's for some of you guys. Yeah, you do have a karmic X that is watching you that wants you back. You know, it might come forward, but it feels like your person. It feels like the karmic. It's like once they leave the karmic behind, this karmic might keep trying to get them back. The divine protected you from this person. See? I am ready to commit to this connection and to you. Told you. They are ready for this offer. My whole life feels out of control. They've let their life get out of control. I'm terrified to approach you. Again, because they know that you know that they've been in these connections and you know they have some splaining to do loved ones on the other side are with you your guys's loved ones on the other side ancestors are helping to guide you guys together now this is also spirit babies your loved ones who are ready to be born and also the babies you guys have had in other lifetimes i have never gotten over you divine masculine wants you to know that they have never gotten over you 48 minutes in, I'm just gonna keep going. The gardeners are out there across the street, so it's kind of loud. I hope you guys, you guys probably can hear it. It's like probably not as loud as it is for me. Worth waiting for, my loves. This was divine timing. Divine timing is at play in your love life. Keep an open mind. For some of you guys, you know, um, you weren't what your divine masculine was expecting when they thought of their forever wife or husband. Um, and it could have been the same way for you, you know, you guys as, you know, especially if you're, you know, twin flames, you guys have a lot of the same characteristics, okay, um, within each other, but, you know, you guys may have been raised differently, um, or, you know, just, you know, that kind of stuff. Um, so your person has really gone through awakening and they've gone through enlightenment and they had to really um keep an open mind about their, about you, about this, you know, whatever. This also could just be like they didn't believe it because, and they were closed minded because everyone that they've ever been with has always been, you know, turned out to be a, a karmic, toxic, you know, toxicity. So they were closed minded instead of being open minded at the time. But this was about divine timing. So it was meant to happen like this. 
whatever it is your person is now coming in with a completely open mind and an open heart because look at that it just flipped right over because now they see on a divine level a soul level what this is um they've had enlightenment a past life relationship yep you guys it's either past life soulmate or twin flame right but you guys have known each other before this is also just someone from your past returning it didn't work out before and now they want it to let your friends help you they could be getting advice from friends about this you know maybe you guys have you know friends but what it is is it feels like they are um just surrendering allowing spirit and the angels and all that to guide you guys they feel like you guys are meant to be together um and they want to spend time alone with you retreat from the world disconnect all right and then we'll just get a couple into it oracles all right spirit just wrap this up real quick for the collective today all right we have cardinal first it says yes take inspired actions that's what the divine masculine is doing they're taking action in their life on all the necessary things things that they need to cut out and things that they're walking away from and then towards you the garden it says a meeting an event a date your person is wanting to date you they're wanting to take you out spend time with you disconnect um all that the element of water this is about you guys mirroring each other 50 50 things are fluid element of earth we have water and earth coming out all right so your person is getting really grounded they are um taking practical steps at this time they could be an earth sign or a water sign um they're trying to keep their emotions grounded as well because their emotions are very strong for you at this time so stepping stones you guys it's the process of arrival it also says baby steps progress spiritual growth your person has been spiritually growing. And look at this, bottom of the deck, the world. This is new cycles. The geese, because you guys are soulmates or twin flames and you guys are each other's home. You're where each other's belong. So your person is coming home to where they belong with the rabbits for a new beginning. Um, and they can't wait to hunt like bunnies. Let's just say that. So anyways, my loves, this is what I have for you today. If this was your message, be sure to claim it by liking and subscribing to the channel. Um, if you're interested in your own personal, uh, you know, reading, um, on your own situation ship, twin flame journey or, or spiritual path, whatever's going on, I am doing personals. I am running a Valentine's special, a lover special is what I'm calling it. So the, uh, special pricing is down below in the, um, description box. Okay. Um, just send me an email and we'll get you guys set up and what else you guys thank you my loves for those of you who have donated to the channel it means the world to me whether it's five cents five dollars or 50 it means the world to me i love you guys um i love all of you guys anyways and um what else um if you feel guided you can follow me on instagram at gypsy cowgirl tarot and yeah so get ready guys there's a lot of stuff happening but today this is what came through someone who's been in a connection is gearing up or has walked away so to pursue you so hang in there my loves namaste bye